Hey there. So my most viewed video on YouTube is this video here, setting up multiple monitors in a KVM Camu VM. Five years ago, I made this video and it's gone all the way up to 22,000 views. You can see things quickly fall off after that. Problem is, I actually needed to have multiple monitors today. I was trying to check and see um, how Fedora with Qtile would work with multiple monitors. I kind of wanted to um, try this out without trying to install and set up and pollute my system with RPMs if I wasn't going to like the way it looks. But things have been updated and when I came here, I just see one display. I can't make multiple displays as I showed in the video. So I figured, let's fix this and let's create a new video so people aren't getting frustrated with a set of instructions that no longer work. So this is from Vert Manager. Uh, normally you're used to a view that looks like this. Uh, but a few versions ago, they added the ability to see and edit the XML directly. So I believe this is the problem right here. Under Video QXL, here it says Heads 1. Before, I believe this wasn't explicitly set, and so that's why you were able to do it in Remote Viewer. So the first thing is, if you're gonna make any changes in here, um, the VM has to be off. I believe the only exception is loading in um, CDs or um, ISOs. Otherwise, I believe it has to be off to make any of these changes. So I've already shut it down, turned it off. I'm gonna change this to two here and hit apply at the bottom. Now let's see what happens after we start it up and load up uh, Remote Viewer. So just as I showed in my older video from five years, five years ago, you use Remote Viewer and it'll save your recent connections here. Um, I don't know at what time limit it erases these, so they may disappear after a while. Um, I'm just running this on my computer, so I'll do localhost. And if you don't explicitly set over, uh, let me show you this over here. And display spice, if you don't explicitly set the port, then every time you start one, it'll start counting from 5900 and go up. Um, so you can explicitly set it, or you can just say, oh, I've only launched one, so it's going to be 5900. We're going to go ahead and connect. So there it is starting up. Ah, see, now we have a display two option. Let's see what happens when this part's done. Maybe we need to wait till the VM is completely loaded. But it's nice that we now have that. Before, we didn't have that. I'm going to pause until the VM is done loading. All right. Um, at the login screen, I still can't pick a different display. I'm going to go all the way in and see if that makes any difference. All right, here we are in Qtile. We still can't select a second display. All right, so I did a little bit of research and uh, essentially what was happening is SE Linux was blocking the second display from launching. So I went and I disabled it uh, temporarily just to check and I did fix it. Um, I'm not sure off the top of my head what policy you need to apply to SE Linux in order to allow it to um, do more than one display. I do know if you're using Cockpit, which is um, a web-based way to administer your system, usually it will tell you what command you need to run if you want to enable something that SE Linux is blocking. But now when we go into the VM, it launches with two displays. So here are my two displays. Um, and I'm gonna shrink them down so they both fit on this um, screen here. There we go. They look about, uh, almost. So let's see if I widen this a little bit. It's They're not exactly the right ratios, but um, if I open this up here, you can see that I can go 
from one to the other. It's not perfectly seamless. Uh, it's, <laughs> I mean, part of it has to do with the fact that they're not exactly the same and aligned. Uh, you can kind of treat it as like if your monitor had a bevel, but there you go. So now you can have two screens. As I said in my previous video, really the best thing to do would be to have one of these windows on each of your actual real monitors, and then you can kind of see how it would be with multiple monitors, in this case an XFCE, or whatever window manager or desktop environment you'd like to test. And um, as I believe I mentioned last time, if you uh, want to do this with Windows, instead of changing this to Heads 2, you just add another video QXL device. So here add Hardware, Video, you do QXL, and then you'd be able to have more than one win window in Windows. I haven't tested this with Windows 11 yet to see if maybe they support um, the head model because uh, I found that Windows 11 actually seems to work a lot better with KVM than Windows 10 did, uh, but perhaps I'll make another video about that after I explore it. So hopefully that'll help you if you saw my previous video, but it's not working for you the way I explained it there. Looks like a few things have changed uh, in the meanwhile. And so this is the way to get multiple um, monitors on KVM now. Thanks for watching. Bye.